One of the benefits of mathematics is that sometimes it gives you answers that you didn't expect. Here's one example that, if you haven't seen it before, may well quite surprise you. This is a tyre warehouse. And, of course, every so often, people with, will withdraw tyres from the warehouse. And so, after a time, the warehouse will be empty and we'll need to restock it. Well, that's fine. We can arrange for a delivery of tyres. But then a question arises. Should we have a fairly small delivery like this, or should we have a much larger delivery like that? And, of course, it comes down to cost. Now, the cost of the tyres themselves doesn't come into the equation. And, in fact, these tyres were given to us by Scalectrix. But there are other costs. There's a delivery cost. Each delivery costs money. So if we have a small delivery, then there will be more of them, and therefore the delivery cost will be higher compared with larger deliveries, fewer of them, delivery cost smaller. So that suggests that maybe a larger delivery would be better. But on the other hand, with a large delivery, we'll need a large warehouse in order to accommodate all the tyres, so our rental costs will be comparatively higher. And also there will be higher interest charges to pay the bank because we'll have to borrow more money in order to finance the large purchase of tyres. So, what's the happy medium? Somewhere between a very small ordering size and a very large ordering size, there will be an ordering size which gives us the lowest possible cost. And to find that out, we have to use mathematics. Let's take a period of, say, one year. And we'll suppose that we have a fixed order size and that demand is regular, so that when we run out, we can reorder immediately, and we get a sawtooth graph like this. And now we need some variables. What I'll do is I'll let D be the total demand per year. And I'll let the order size be x. So x is the order size. And now, what is the ordering cost? Well, if we double the demand per year, then the ordering cost, the delivery cost, will also double because we'll need to have double the number of deliveries. So the ordering cost is going to be proportional to d, but if we double the order size, we'll halve the number of deliveries. And so it's going to be inversely proportional to x, and it will be some constant times this. This is the delivery cost. But there's also the storage cost. And the storage cost is going to be proportional to the order size. If we double the order size, we'll have to double the rental, and double the interest charge. So I'll say that B, X, is going to be the storage cost. And therefore the total cost will be A, D over X plus B, X. That is the total cost, which I'll call Y. And we want to find a minimum value for y. Let's just sketch a graph of this function to get an idea of what it's like, and then we'll see how we might go about finding the minimum value. So let me write down y equals a d over x plus b x again. And look at the two parts of this formula. A, D over X, that's like a, a 1 over X type graph. So that's going to be something like this. And B, X is going to be a linear graph, something like that. And their sum is going to therefore be something like this. And we can see that somewhere in between, there's going to be a minimum. But how can we find it? 
Well, that's where we have to use calculus. We differentiate, set the derivative equal to zero, and then we can find where the minimum is. So let's do that. dy by dx equals, well, ad over x, that's a d x to the power minus 1. And so I differentiate x to the power minus 1, I get a minus 1 x to the minus 2. So I get minus a d over x squared. And then I have to differentiate b x, and that will just give me b plus b. And then I have to set this equal to zero. And now I have to do a certain amount of algebraic manipulation. If I take ad over x squared to the other side, then I will get b equals ad over x squared. And I can rearrange that as x squared equals ad over b. And therefore I can take the square root to give me x equals the square root of a d over b. And that's the answer. That's a formula for the order size in terms of the constant a, the constant b, and the annual demand d. And this is where the surprise comes in, because you might think that if the demand per year doubled, then the best thing to do would be to double the order size. But this formula shows you that that's not the case. Because if you double the annual demand, d, you don't double the order size, x. You multiply it by root 2, because the formula has a square root in front of it. So there's an example where, using mathematics, we've actually found something which we didn't expect, and which is actually financially beneficial to us.